Okay, people, I'm going to show you how Adnan acts like a predator and how he uses Islam, yeah, the deen, yeah, the Quran and Sunnah, yeah, to lure like girls that want to practice, yeah, into doing zina. I know it sounds crazy. You never think you could use the Quran and Sunnah to try and get someone to do zina. But in Nan's evil mind, he can. So watch this clip and you're going to see, yeah, what he does. So what he's going to do, he's going to tell, like, say he's teaching the girl Islam and teach her how to pray and everything, yeah, and so forth. And then he ends up, yeah, what is it, being, like, romantic with them and saying we're going to get married, you know what I'm saying, and we're going to walk off in the sunset together and we're going to get kids. But he never does. He just used them for sex a few times and they dashed him away. Let me show you the clip now. So this girl, he's totally single, yeah, and that he's going to marry her because she wants to get on Dean and so forth. And look, so he teaches her to pray. Listen. But he never marries her. Liman. Hamida. Hamida. So. Yeah. And then you go back down and you say, Allahu Akbar. Allahu You go back on the floor, you know? And then you say, Subhana Rabbi A'la. Subhana Rabbi A'la. Three times. Why are your head's down on the floor? You come up, Allahu Akbar, then you say, Rabbik Fili, Rabbik Fili, Rabbik Fili, three times. Then Allah. So Adnan tells this girl he's going to marry her, she's single, you know, he's not a family man, this, that, and so forth. He's going to teach her a prayer because she wants to go to Dean and stuff like this, but he doesn't, just has relationships and then just dash them away and move on to the next one. Welcome back to the Rare Talks podcast. I know you lot don't know me, nor have you seen my face before, but today's a different episode, okay? I got your host in the hot seat, okay? We got questions, we got a lot going on right now regarding the pods and, you know, the members of the pods, and we're just here to clear up some things because, you know, there's a lot. And then we're not stupid yet. Yeah. We're not going to fall for you get one of your female friends to ask you irrelevant questions who doesn't even know anything. And it's not allegations, yeah? Like, you're married, yeah? you got a wife of seven years and a wife of three years. Just a few days ago, a, a girl that's few released a video of you kissing her in her bed, lying with her on her sofa. You can't photoshop with that. That little interview can't get around that. You shouldn't be doing that. So, and, 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 and it shows that she's, that she doesn't even know enough who she would have done that interview because if she had seen those videos she wouldn't be in a position where she's in interviewing you and making herself look stupid because she doesn't know anything secondly you're a blatant liar the imam asked you yeah are these kids that these girls are saying yours you said no he said swear by Allah you said I'm not going to swear by Allah you said um, but it's not mine yeah yeah and then he took the DNA yeah from a child from a woman everyone in the community knows you're married to and matched it to all these kids and it came back positive so this stupid interview means nothing